Okay, question 15. The final question. So, a curve has equation y equals x cubed minus 48x. The point A on the curve has x coordinate minus 4. The point B on the curve has x coordinate minus 4 at h. We want to show that the gradient of the line AB is h squared minus 12h. So, gradient is difference in y over difference in x. So we need to find the y coordinates for each x coordinate. So, when x is minus 4, y is going to be minus 4 cubed and then minus 48 times minus 4. Now minus 4 cubed is uh, minus 64 and then we got a minus times a minus so it's going to be positive so, 48 times 4 is 192. Now, this then is going to give us uh, 192 minus 64 is 128. So, we now know the coordinates of point A are minus 4, 1, 2, 8. Okay, now for point B then. So we know that when x is minus 4 and h, y is equal to minus 4 and h cubed minus 48 times minus 4 and h. So we're going to need binomial expansion. It's power of 3, so we need the third row of Pascal. Which is 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay. So, expanding minus 4 and h cube then, we're going to get one lot of minus 4 cubed and three lots of minus 4 squared h and three lots of minus 4 to the power of 1 h squared and one lot of h cubed now minus 48 times minus 4 is 192 and then we're going to get minus 48 h okay so minus 4 cubed is minus 64 minus 4 squared is 16 3 times 16 is going to give us add 48h. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, so we get minus 12h squared and 1h cubed and 192 minus 48h. Okay, so let's sharpen that up. So we got 1h cubed Now we got minus 12h squared So that's gone Now we got a plus 48h minus 48h. So those two 
can't take each other out. So it's nice of them. And then we got 192 minus 64, which is 1, 2, 8. So now we know them. And that point B has coordinates minus 4, add H, uh, H cubed, minus 12, H squared, add 1, 2, 8. So, now that we know the coordinates of both points, we can work out the gradient. So, gradient of A and B is difference in Y over difference in X. So, it's H cubed minus 12 H squared add 128 minus the Y coordinate at A which was 128 over Minus 4, add h. Minus the x coordinate at a, which was minus 4. So it's minus, minus 4, which gives us plus 4. So we get left with h cubed. Minus 12 h squared over h. Which does indeed equal h squared uh, minus, hello, I lost my h, minus 12 h, as we wanted it to. Okay, then the final part asks us to explain how the result of part A can be used to show that A is a stationary point on the curve. So, at stationary points dy by dx gradient of the curve is equal to zero. Now, by first principles, which this has really been about, say so by first principles, Now you're given the formula for this. There it is. So we have done exactly the stuff on the right. So, by first principles, dy by dx is equal to the limit as h tends to zero of um, h squared minus 12 h. Now, as h tends to zero, that clearly tends to zero. Therefore, a is a stationary Point. Awesome. Okay guys, that's it for paper one. Don't forget to pick two and three. All linked down below. Good luck in your exams. Really hope you found this helpful. Take care. Take it easy.